to exact revenge against Melnia. Aldoa enlists Kilfael and allies with Leonis. Together they cross the Great Eastern River to join forces with Ingelbert. Wazette Sterie, aptly regarded as the greatest water guard, impedes them. Meanwhile, Mushiri and Kiton make for the derelict Bordis Castle. The goal is to win over Glacella, taking refuge within as an ally. However, Oh, how fascinating. Luring in their ship was but a part of your plan, I see. Precisely. So, the same goes for leaving them with a the ship in Fennis, too? A foolish question. But you did not come up with that strategy yourself now, did you? Say what you mean, woman. Oh! You don't truly think we were none the wiser, do you? Melnia and Renel, wasn't it? You welcomed them and the rest of the Fennis remnants into our midst with open arms, right? I did not welcome anybody. I merely perceived they could be used. Well, it is quite fine with us either way. Where do you think you are going? to take a look at these new pets of yours. Jealousy does not become you, Victora. Jealousy? <laughs> Do not flatter yourself. What? Despite deploying Styrie, you still have no intention of eliminating Mont and his companions, do you? And you base this on? The fact that your true desire is the ring. It won't end up in your hands if you send Mont to a sunken grave, after all. <sighs> Alas, that will be your undoing. You would do well not to underestimate the little lion. What in blazes? That ship is enormous. This is the water guard of Wisette, Styrie. We spotted the ship from Venice. Give them a warm welcome. As you wish. But mind you, do not inflict mortal injuries. Let me make myself clear. You are not to inflict mortal injuries upon any of them. Understood? Yes, Captain. What is the meaning of this? A matter beyond my control. Orders from King Curry himself. From the King? Uh, but, but why would he...? You take issue, Eugene? I heard that the new King of Leonis is aboard that ship. Were we to sink it, surely the war would end this day. It would appear King Curry desires this miscreant Mont to be taken alive. Mont, facing a ship of that size is madness. Yet retreat is no longer ours to choose. We go to battle. Holdoa, draw the ship closer. What are you going to do then? I'll use this.
We all know the power of the visions. It has saved us on plenty of occasions. But King Mont, we're outmatched this time. I am aware of that. Then... Which is why we're going to ambush them head on. What do you mean by that? The enemy ship is dead ahead! Leona's troops get aboard! <laughs> so that was your plan. Look at them scurrying about, thinking our soldiers are actually somehow on their deck. Now is our chance to strike! Feast your eyes on that! Styrie is retreating! <laughs> we did it! Impressive as always, your highness. No. This was everyone's victory. It is possible this is a trap, however. A trap? Who cares if it is? If they're trying to lure us into setting foot in Zet, that will be their mistake to regret. That may be so, but it bothers me. You fret too much. In any case, lingering on the open water will do us no favors. That's right. Let us make haste for the shores of Wazet. It seems we made it just in time. Explain yourself. In regards to what exactly? What are those barbarians from Fennis doing here? I should be the one to explain. I should have known you'd be behind this. It seems Melnia of Fennis has betrayed her kingdom and now hails to Wazette, which is why... Ridiculous. These barbarians cannot be trusted. That's a horribly unfair thing to say! Silence! Darling, please! Come now, Commander. You know what they say. The foe of my foe is my ally. What of Lady Masheri? She has gone to Glacella to... It is Mont whom I ask. She has gone to Bordis Castle to rally Glacella before regrouping with us here. She does this alone? I had Ketone accompany her. Damn you. Not only must you jeopardize Shitzel's fate, but now Lady Masharis. Enough, Engelbert. Lady Masheri made the decision by her own mind. I imagine King Mon did not object, as he did not wish to involve her in the war with Fennis. <sighs> Engelbert, I understand where your anger comes from. As it stands, Masheri is yet to arrive here. I am certain something has befallen her. Should that be so, what do you intend to do about it? I will go to her, and if something has happened, you have my word that I shall save her. King Mont! Lilith, I'll need you to stay here. I should go with you! You needn't worry about me. I will see this done. As you wish. My apologies, Adelard. 
I leave the rest to you. Do not worry. I, for one, shall be sure not to act out of irrational haste. What is that supposed to mean? You know exactly what it means. <sighs> well then, I shall return. Well, can you see anything? King Mont has disappeared off to the south. He is alone. No, he has a small number of soldiers at his side. And you have an inkling as to why, do you not? That look on your face? Just as I thought. I believe he makes for Bordy's castle. Bordis. A castle long since abandoned, is it not? <laughs> Why so quiet, hmm? According to the reports from our shinobi, Lady Mashiri of Horn also headed for Bordis castle. So, what's the big deal about this castle? Sergius, you do understand there's no going back for you, don't you? Lady Mashiri seeks to make contact with Glacella. Is that so? I was wondering where she had hid herself, but it was Bordy's castle all along. Mashiri and Glacella. <laughs> this should be fun. Where are you going? We were gonna stay up here and enjoy the show that Melnia puts on. But we have come up with something far more entertaining to do now. <laughs> Sergius! Commander, if we leave those two be... I know. Victora will bring misfortune upon Glacella and Lady Masheri. Are you sure about this? Are we really doing the right thing? Commander... I have learned something from this war, an answer I had long sought. Our enemies are those who hold the reins of power. Sergius... Does that not mean Kuri? Were it not for Kuri, we would have surely died like animals in the wild. For that we are indebted to him. Yet, it is the same Kuri who is responsible for his own people starving and being ravaged by illness. Commander, do you mean that we will go to Glacella's aid? Those in power are the enemy, as are those who aspire to claim that power as their own. Then... King Mont... Is he also a person in power you think should be defeated? It's getting harder and harder to understand what you're thinking. I share that sentiment. Commander, even when we attacked King Mont, you made sure not to hurt him. King Mont is afflicted with kindness. Swayed by fleeting emotions, he all but crushed their chance of felling Kuri. No longer will I expect anything of others. <laughs> Sergius! Commander, we too shall head for Bordis. The enemy does not show itself, yet it cannot hide its presence. I suppose it does not even try. It is only a matter of time before the battle begins. What is it they wait for? It is likely they rush to prepare for the battle to come. Oh? What makes you think this? It felt the same when they attacked our ship out on the Great River. Instead of trying to sink us, they disappeared back beyond the Shroud of the Fog. 
And so you were lured to this place? Correct. To what end, I do not know. However, I am certain that this is the battlefield of their choosing, and that it is where they intend to deliver us to our end. Are you truly one of those savages from Fennis? I simply fought for them because they held my little brother hostage. I see. You have my apologies. The enemy waits for something. And what will happen when that time has come? We shall lose any remaining chance of victory. <sighs> In that case, we cannot afford to delay any longer. Indeed. You do not intend to wait for orders. Circumstances have led me to depart the army of Horn. I no longer serve under such constrictions. I suppose I will have to endure another berating from Adelard, mind you. Solidus! Advance! This is our chance! Sweep through the enemy and devour them! What's going on? It would seem the battle has begun. I thought Adelard said he would not act in haste. We have no time to waste! that you still worry for your companion when you face the end of my spear. The Ketone! Take it! This... Lady Mashiri, what is this? <laughs> Just use it! With this, the tables have turned. You truly think it's so? What? That was your last resort. Do not try to say otherwise. <laughs> and now I know it to be true. I simply judged that I needn't rely on such a trinket to face you. Nothing more. Still, you persist with your facade. Is it not you who clings to a facade of strength? <laughs> I have a keen eye for people, and I'm rarely wrong. Which is why it is clear to me. I am told Mont is betrothed to you. But all you desire is for him to be a pillar of strength standing behind you. You know nothing of my desires! But I do. I know them well. For you and I, share quite the resemblance. We share nothing! Lady Ramada? Do you see something? The only thing I see is a nice blue sky, right? Two stars, soon to be consumed by the darkness. The stars you speak of? Lady Mashari and Ketone. Uh, uh, hold on a moment. Lady Mashari and the others were supposed to be going to Bordy's castle to rally Lady Glacella. Yes, that's right. I wonder if something happened. If that's the case, the assault on Wazette could end in failure. What? We can't have that! Our trip is becoming a distant dream! You still speak of such things? Huh? I... just... We have lost 
many beloved souls to this war. Those fortunate to have survived still suffer wounds deep to the mind and body. Y you're right. I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking about everyone whose lives were sacrificed. But you must understand. There are things we wanted to forget. Indeed, I understand. It is Lord Stern you speak of, is it not? It is. After his defeat by King Mont's hand, Lord Stern's whereabouts have been lost to obscurity. Does he still draw life? Or... He... He's alive! I'm sure of it! Yes. I suppose you speak true. It is for this reason that your strength is needed. We must defend Ovis, rout Wizette with the aid of Horn, and save Lord Stern. Can we... really achieve all of this? We can. I am sure of it. Now, let us continue forth. Lady Mashari, Ketone, may you be safe. I see them. What are they doing in a place like this? Well, well. It appears we made it in time. That voice! <gasps> Victora! Luartha, too! I cannot believe my eyes! You are safe! Barely, but yes. We were taken prisoner for a time, but we found a way out. <laughs> Is that the beautiful Steel Maiden of Horn? Indeed it is. Victora and Luartha, I know your names. Is that so? <laughs> you even have the face of a villain, and quite so at that. Dare insult Victor as well! Glacella, I am sure I need not tell you, but nothing good comes from showing mercy to women like her. We're by your side now, so. Right. We will crush you with all our might. <laughs> 